I want to 100% squash the notion that we can eliminate the threat of cancer. It's never going to happen. Okay, as long as firefighters are exposed to the toxic chemicals that are in modern day fires, it's always going to be a threat. All right, um, it's about reduction. I don't want you to change your every day. I don't want you to change the way you come to work every tour, ready to serve the community. I just want you to protect yourself every single day. Wearing your gear appropriately to include your SCBA. And that means even after you put the fire out, because your threat isn't gone once the fire's out in that regard. Come outside, have somebody spray your gear off. I mean, we've, we've shown through studies and through beta testing that we can remove 50% of the contaminants from the surface of your gear simply by spraying you off with water. 80% of those contaminants by adding a little bit of soap to that equation. Adequately rehabbing and make sure that you're okay to continue your tour duty. Um, getting back to the firehouse, washing yourself, putting on a clean uniform, putting your second set of gear in service. It's 20, 30, 40 years of bad habits and habits are hard to break. But these habits can kill you. Take this stuff seriously because those small measures could be the difference in you having to leave your family at 58. I don't think we can say anymore that you're a good firefighter if you're not being a smart firefighter. Research and read the Lavender Ribbon Report. Not only did my father write that, edit it, and co-chair the committee from the International Association of Fire Chiefs who published it, uh, but that was his siren song. And 11 days before my father's passing, uh, that was published internationally by the Inter International Association of Fire Chiefs, uh, endorsed by almost every single uh, entity of our service. That is a black and white version of a legacy, and I, I want to challenge each member and the department as a whole to look at that, research it, and take it seriously. Even if I reduce the amount of people that had to live in my circumstance by 1%, by taking very, very small steps, I think that's a success.